after studying traditional Japanese art, Takashi Murakami has become the frontrunner in the international boom in pop media culture, blurring the boundaries between high art and what some refer to as low art. Murakami uses popular themes from the mass media and pop culture, then goes on to use those images to create sculptures, paintings, and commercial items, like collector's figurines and mobile phone covers. Murakami is credited with starting the style of super flat. The term refers to the style of flattened forms of graphic art, animation, and fine art, characterized by flat planes of color but is also a nod to Japan's consumer culture and its perceived shallow emptiness. Murakami's photographic narrative, Little Boy, examines the aesthetics of post-war culture in Japan. In recent years, there has been a rejuvenation of the contemporary Japanese art scene, and Takashi Murakami can be thanked for the renewed interest. His art has become an important fashion accessory. It's a, an event of fashion, art, and music, you know. Um, I'm a designer for Louis Vuitton, the artistic director. I collaborated with a great contemporary artist, Takashi Murakami, who's also collaborated with Kanye West, who's performing tonight. And, um, you know, I think uh, it's very representative of, of the idea of art and um, bringing and people sort of not feeling uh, culturally unable to to appreciate art because they weren't schooled in it or something. I mean, Murakami applied his look to a line of Louis Vuitton accessories. The artist transformed the company's classic brown and gold bags into a riot of LV logos, saucer shapes, and cartoon eye designs on a background of pristine white. When beautiful ladies approach me and say, I'm a big fan of yours, I feel very good, even though they don't really know my art, but they sure know Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton bags have become classics, and Murakami's art has gone mainstream thanks to the collaboration. In 2008, the Brooklyn Museum hosted a retrospective of Takashi Murakami. The exhibition included a fully operational Louis Vuitton store and 90 works by the prolific artist. It looks like a uh, kind of new era because the art becomes the, exactly the entertainment. Like, you know, the first time people mention for the collaboration with fashion and art, but maybe in the near future, this is, uh, you know, the kind of the new entertainment. He was concerned that in the West, he was thought of as a handbag designer rather than a fine artist. But Murakami's work is among the most desired in the world. Life-size fiberglass cartoon figure Miss KO2 reportedly selling for more than half a million dollars. I'm thankful if you enjoy it. If possible, I hope the audience understands the high level of techniques used by me and my team for painting. His foray into fashion and flashy pop art sculptures like Miss KO2 have led some art critics to accuse him of having no internal critique. It certainly doesn't need an art expert to see the similarities between Murakami's career and Warhol and Kuhn's. And whether overly commercial or not, Takashi Murakami's art is immediately accessible to all and intellectually stimulating to some. The bright colors and cartoon cuteness appeals to teenage art lovers in Tokyo looking for a new sticker or school bag. But Murakami's work is also gaining attention among serious art students looking for the deeper subtext in his commercial art, branding and merchandising. Sellout or genius, Takashi Murakami is an international art world phenomenon.